What is up guys, it's Grace Productions and I'm pretty sure you guys just got Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. So far I got it, what do I think of it so far? I probably will make another video on that pretty soon. I personally don't like it as I thought I would. Bugs are still there. Hey man, it is what it is. But I'm gonna give you guys the best render settings for Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. These are basically the same render settings I used last year. If you guys didn't watch that video, um, you guys are probably going to see on my page, but I'm going to just show you guys this right now. Pretty simple. I honestly think these are the best render settings you got, like you can honestly use for Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, this is what I personally use. So, oops. <laughs> so, so first of all, match your source, um, whether it's 4k, um, whether it's 4k or 1080p um still match it uh i i i work on a 4k timeline most of the time so my files are most likely going to be 4k if your files are uh 1080p then i guess you can leave it at 1080p frame rate i always have mine at 23 23 or 24 frames it, it really it's not really much of a difference but i just kind of always have mine at 23 frames per second you can leave at progressive aspect ratio pixels you need that one of 1.0 um, depending on where you are, um, I would say leave, uh, depending on where you are, so if you're not really from the United States, then you will P, you probably go to PAL, but since, but if you're in the United States, go to NTSC, render, render at maximum depth, depth, uh, depth, <laughs> I said that's so raw, uh, performance, uh, software encoding, profile, high. Level 5.1. Your bitrate settings. This is what's going to determine whether your video comes out crit like comes out very constant. It plays through correctly. This right here determines everything. So you want to have your um, bitrate settings at VBR two pass. Target bitrate 32. Maximum bitrate 32. Use maximum render quality. And that's about it guys with this settings you with these settings you will have the best render settings for your video you will have the best quality for your video your video will remain as sharp as it came off the camera with these settings i hope that helped i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great day i'm gonna see you guys later subscribe for more content